Hello everyone. This is Manish Yadav, your English teacher. Today we'll start past indefinite tense. Okay? In the previous two lectures, we have known how to transform active sentences of present tense, indefinite, continuous, interrogative, present continuous tense, present perfect tense, their sentences simple, negative sentence, interrogative sentence in two passive wise. Today we we'll start past indefinite tense and its sentences, simple sentence, negative sentence and interrogative sentence. Let you know the formation. First of all, I would like to revise the formation of present, uh, sorry, past indefinite tense. In past indefinite tense, we use auxiliary did. Okay? The auxiliary did. And uh, when we talk about simple sentence of past indefinite tense, we use past form of the main verb. You know, past form of main verb is also known as second form, okay? And uh, to form a sentence of past indefinite simple sentence, we need to know past form of every main verb, okay? If we are unknown to the second form of main verb, we cannot form correct sentence of past indefinite tense, okay? All right, let you know the formation rule of past indefinite tense simple sentence simple sentence subject plus verb second form plus object plus other word okay this is simple formation rule of past indefinite tense thereafter when we talk about negative sentence of past indefinite tense, the formation will be subject plus auxiliary did plus negative word not plus mv first form plus object plus other word. Okay, this is the formation rule of negative sentence negative sentence when we talk about interrogative sentence interrogative sentence it will be first kind of interrogative which starts with auxiliary did okay so did plus subject plus MV first form plus object plus other words. When I talk about second kind of interrogative sentence which starts with WH word, it will be WH plus auxiliary bit plus subject plus Verb first form plus object plus other word. Okay. Next, if negative sentence in interrogative sentence, then where to place not? In first kind of interrogative sentence, when we have to place not, where to place it? After subject in first kind. Okay, and after subject in second kind also. Okay, these are the forming rules of past indefinite tense. Let's transform the sentences into passive wise one by one.
Okay, first simple sentence. Simple sentence. Uh, the teacher. The teacher. Taught us a great lesson. Okay, the teacher taught us a great lesson. The teacher. This is a subject of this sentence. Taught is main verb. Us object a great relation. The whole phrase will be object in this active sentence. Now, which auxiliary is used while transforming an active sentence of past indefinite tense simple into passive wise? Was and were okay as you know that was and were both are the auxiliaries of past continuous tense but these verbs these auxiliaries will be used to change or transform a sentence of past simple into passive for example the teacher taught us a lesson great lesson so definitely what did the teacher teach us? Teacher ne kya sikhaya? A great lesson. So definitely taught, teach is a transitive verb. Now, a great lesson which will be subject of passive. Okay. So here we write a great lesson. A great lesson. Now, I told you that was and were. Both auxiliaries are used. Okay. So, according to the number of subject, a great relation. Okay. This is singular now. So, singular number of subject accepts was. So, a great relation was taught the third form or past participle form of teach is also taught. Teach, taught, taught. Okay. Was taught. Was taught to us to us by the teacher. Full stop. Okay. A great lesson was taught to us by the teacher. This is first way to transform this sentence into passive wise. Now, for your kind information, I would like to tell you that there are two objects in this sentence. First object, us, and second object, a great lesson. At the very beginning, when I started this topic, I told you that there are two kinds of object. First, direct object and second, indirect object. In this sentence, direct object is also there as well as indirect object. Which one is direct object and which one is indirect object? When we make question by using what, we find direct object. When we make question using who, we find indirect object. So, whom did the teacher give the pen us? Us, this is indirect object. And what did the teacher be to us a great lesson? So this is direct object. Okay. Now it depends on us that which object, which object is there to be highlighted, to be give, uh, you know, to be given a supremacy. It depends on us. Now, if we want to highlight us, okay. Then it will be subjective case 
here in passive sentence us subjective case of us is we okay now we can change this sentence and transform this sentence into passive voice according to this way we we now the number of subject is plural we so what is used what we were taught we were taught a great lesson a great lesson by the teacher we were taught a great lesson by the teacher now this is also correct and this is this is also correct this sentence is correct this is also correct okay means in the above sentence i have considered direct object as subject of passive voice and in this sentence i have considered indirect object as the subject of passive voice when when we consider direct object as subject of passive voice we use to before indirect object that is us okay here a great question was direct object in the sentence and i have considered it as the subject of passive so i have written to before us okay to is compulsory to be written before indirect object if we have taken direct object as the subject but here we have taken indirect object as the subject of passive voice so will not add any to before a great relation means direct object clear i mean to say that jab hum sentence ke direct object ko passive ka subject banate hain तो इनडायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट से पहले टू लगाते हैं ठीक है और जब हम इनडायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट को पैसिव और सब्जेक्ट बना लेते हैं तो डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट से पहले हम कोई टू नहीं लगाते हैं दैट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस आई होप इट इज क्लियर टू एवरी वन now it was simple sentence okay now i'll talk about negative sentence she she did she did not like she did not like the pants okay she did not like apples <clears throat> we are going through wise this topic of grammar wise as well as we are recalling and revising tense as well okay because i am telling you the formation of each tense what is the formation how to form sentences and uh, sentences also and how to transform it into passive voice now she did not like apples use she pasand nahi hai now kaise kaise transform karenge how to transform this sentence not has convenient like is made of and apples what does she not or what did she not like wo kya nahi pasand karti hai so apples okay apples are not liked by her okay so what is the passive first of all apples this is object so it will be subject of passive as usual apples oh sorry apples now according to according to the number of subject we use plural auxiliary so was and were were is used for plural subjects were apples were not liked <coughs> apples were not liked by she 
this is subjective case so its objective case will be her by her full stop apples were not liked by her okay this is auxiliary i hope it's clear now second sentence ki form suresh suresh did not suresh did not punish suresh did not punish me full stop suresh did not punish me first of all what did i tell you to transform a sentence let's find the verb whether it is transitive or intransitive verb definitely punish me me will be affected me will be receiving the action done by suresh so punish is transitive verb in this sentence now let's find the object this is me me is object of this sentence so it will be uh, the subject of passive voice so me subjective case of me is i okay i and i is singular now it accepts was i was not i was not punished so it's a past participle form will be punished punished i was not punished by by this is third person okay so there is no chance to this full stop i was not punished by suresh i hope it's clear now if we if we write this is did i did i did this full stop i did this this is a sentence in which i is subject did is verb and this is object okay now how to transform this sentence into passive voice just you have a few seconds transform the sentence into passive voice this sentence ko transform karenge aap in your notebook you have a few seconds okay transform the sentence and uh, reply through the chat but nobody can chat i did this okay just let me tell you i is subject it is the second form of main verb it is past indefinite tense okay this is the object so this will be passive subject this was this was did done by i of the tuples me full stop okay this was done by me this was done by me now <coughs> now we'll talk about interrogative sentences okay uh interrogative sentence did did he did he did he block flowers did he block flowers this is a sentence of past indefinite tense interrogative did first time it's active sentence did he block flowers kya wo phool todta hai so did flowers because there is no other auxiliary 
for mass will definitely change only singular sorry not singular it is a single auxiliary which is used in past indefinite tense so did flowers did flowers plant not did we are making a mistake it is were 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 flowers plant plant by he subjective case it will be changed into objective he first intact okay were flowers plant by him kya uske dwara phool tode jaate hain were flowers plant by him it will be better if we write the Okay, because this is plural noun and it is also known to us. So the were the flowers plucked by him? Did he pluck the flowers? क्या वो फूलों को तोड़ता है? Were the flowers plucked by him? Question ten. I hope you have understood. How how have we changed? Did he pluck the flowers? This is the interrogative sentence. So it will be interrogative while transforming the sentence into passive voice. So we have written what? Okay, we have started the sentence using verb auxiliary at the very first place. Thereafter, object of active sentence. This is the flower. It will be subject of passive. Thereafter, past participle of the main verb that is plug, 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 and by as a T, it will be object of him. Okay, now. now let's you know the second kind of interrogative sentence which starts with wh words what what did what did monu what did monu <coughs> do with you okay what did monu do with you this is active sentence interrogative second in which wh has come at first monu is the subject do is verb okay do is already a transitive verb we need not find any object in the sentence so how to transform it into passive voice what will be as usual what thereafter monu okay monu what was done by monu okay question that what was done by monu or we can also write that what was done with you with you by monu okay there are some ex exceptions in the sentences uh, as per the rule of what i have mean, there is no object in this sentence but we can translate this sentence into passive voice what was done with you by monu already you is there okay it is uh, the object of the sentence because what was being done jo bhi ho raha tha kiya ja raha tha its impact its impact was being received by you okay so what was done with you by monu you is object in this sentence so it has been written here with you the formation of passive sentence will be the same now another sentence what did you what did you bring from 
the market. Question 10. What did you bring from the market? Aapne kal ya aapne market se kya laya? Okay, so what? What was brought? What was brought from the market? From the market by you. Question 10. Okay, what was brought from the market by you? Now we have finished all kinds of sentence uh, under past indefinite tense. We'll study next kind of sentences of past indefinite tense into next lecture. Till then, stay home, stay safe, and goodbye. For the homework assignment, you will be writing some sentences from the book in your notebook, and you will translate, not translate, transform the sentences into passive voice. You can send the snapshot or the captured picture via WhatsApp to me and I'll reply definitely. Best of luck. Have a nice day.